My name is Justin DeVore and with me today is Jeff Landers. We are both Senior Reality Capture Specialists here with ATG. Jeff, go ahead and tell me what we'll be covering today. Well, today uh, we're going to be covering uh, scan data delivery format. Uh, as you can see here inside Windows Explorer, I have a deliverable here. It clearly has a four recap. Uh, model here that's 66.3 gigabytes, and it has a four Revit uh, scan data that is reduced down to 20 gigabytes. The one for recap basically is for viewing purposes inside of recap. As you can see in the screen behind me, the one for Revit is for the insert into the design software. Okay. Now, why is that important? Why, so it looks like you're going to be delivering two different point clouds. Why, why would you separate them? Uh, that basically because of the data size, the one for recap has the pictures and it has every point that was acquired on site. The one for Revit is called a unified RCP. Uh, the pictures are removed from it and any duplicate points throughout the project are removed. Right. That, Got it. Got it. So that's going to help. That's going to help our Revit modelers on the back end. So could we take a look at that point cloud you have behind you? Sure. I see we have a bunch of exterior scans here, as well as uh, some up on the roof, as well. How many? How many points are in this project? Then we can go in here and we say, let's looking through here, uh, just the first floor that we have. Uh, the twelve over has. Uh, 401 plus million, second floor, 354 plus million, so uh, three and a half to four million per level, and then wow. your exteriors will be reduced down. Of, okay. From it. Excellent. Okay, so that makes sense. It, it's starting to make more sense why we would split those up um, with that kind of data. So could we take a look at what it might look like in, in Revit? And before I move into Revit, I wanted you to just see that this project is broke up into this in these separate folders. And I'm able to turn things off and on. Like I can turn the exterior off of it, I can turn the roof off of it, so on and so forth. And the basic thing is, is this is good because this information transfers into the Revit design, which we'll go look at right now. Perfect. We go into Revit. Here's our 3D point cloud inside of Revit. Uh, you can go around to the different uh, views and you can see here's the first floor in there. Mm -hmm. But to get back to uh, why you need a unified uh, RCP and it needs to be divided up in pieces because once it is in Revit design software through visibility graphics, that information comes into here. So in this view, I only need the first floor. I've got the exterior turned on. I've got the main stairs because it's on this floor and the secondary stairs because they're on, it's on this floor. But that's what I need to be able to see everything I need in here. So as you remember the point uh, counts that we had in these different ones. So this view in Reddit, the visibility graphic does not have to handle all those extra points. And so we can just turn them off here. Got it. So you're just turning on what you need to be able to design and then uh, not working with all those millions of points, just the small sections that you have. So when, when we have this delivered to point cloud in this format to your client, what kind of responses are you getting from them? So, uh, the biggest response, best and biggest response I get is from people that have used point clouds in the past because uh, when they the point clouds have been delivered to them, and I've been guilty of this in the past, is they just get this big point cloud and they don't know what to do with it. It's heavy when they put it in the design software. It makes it very difficult to maneuver through inside of Revit, and it just, I mean, it brings Revit down to a crawl. Cool. All right, thank you, Jeff, for spending a few minutes to cover this with us.